concept is the archi architecture of uh, iOS. Uh, it's uh, structured in four uh, basic layers. Uh, the first layer is the core OS uh, with uh, the basic libraries like the file system, module for networking uh, or management, uh, and uh, also the kernel and all the others, uh, the other libraries. The next layer are the core services, which uh, is uh, uh, composed by the uh, supervised for the database because uh, the, the base service we, we, can, we can use to build a database is a super line. Also, if you want, you can use core data. It uh, is a more complex structure for the databases. Also, we've got uh, preferences, uh, multi trading uh, collections, and core location for, uh, uh, for maps and GPS. Another layer, another layer is for media, where we've got uh, animations, OpenGL, OpenAL, that is a uh, multi-platform multi library for uh, 3D rendering. It's a, a pretty awesome library, in my opinion. It's for audio, for uh, the audio, and uh, everything else. Then, the, most, the layer on the top is the Google Task layer. Touch is the library that manages everything uh, with the, uh, that is related to the touch interface. For example, uh, maps, uh, multi touch uh, for the applications, map kit, uh, camera. All these functionalities are integrated in the Focal Touch library. Uh, and th those are the base uh, platform components that you need to develop for iOS. <coughs> the new tools are uh, Xcode 4, provided by Apple, and the instruments that are, uh, are, are some uh, <coughs> instruments for developers to test applications, test, uh, for example, how much network your application uses, uh, detect uh, memory leaks, uh, and uh, a lot of functionalities. This is really useful to debug, to test your application. Then the language is Objective-C, that is a uh, uh, it comes from the C language, but uh, it, uh, it has uh, it's got uh, uh, more uh, functionalities. Of course, uh, I will tell you later the, the libraries. Then the frameworks provided by Echo that are part of Objective C. The most important is uh, uh, foundation framework that we'll uh, talk about. Uh, talk later about it, core data and UI kit. UI kit is uh, for everything related to the user interface. Core data is, a is a, as I said before, is to managing data in databases. Then the design strategy, the most important is the MPC. Uh, every application that you build on iOS is, uh, is based on MPC. You, you are strongly suggested to use this design pattern to build your application. So let's talk a bit about the language. It's an objective C. There are some uh, important coding conventions when you write the code of your application. You have to follow the camel case naming convention. Use uh, the most uh, scripts in name as you as you can, uh, because uh, using uh, variables <coughs> with a really long name, wrong, long name is not a problem in uh, in iOS. The story suggests uh, to use uh, the scripting name. For example, if you're writing uh, a calculator and you need a Boolean variable to describe if the user is, is uh, writing a number, you may have to uh, call a variable user in the, is in the middle of writing a number. You a variable with uh, this uh, name is not, it's not a problem. So you are suggested to write a longer, not long, but descriptive names, even if the variable name is longer. Also in iOS, uh, as we see, we will see later, method names are really long sometimes. Uh, variables should, should have not have uh, underlined in, the, in their names. There are some exceptions, but I'll talk about it later. And the variable names should contain only letters and number, numbers. Yeah, and uh, this is uh, an example of a 
Then I suspend for the next step because it's a it's a step of a, of the original scene. So we talk about we talk about the classes uh, that are the base of radio application. The classes are composed by two files, an ender file and implementation file. In the other file, uh, you have to, uh, to define uh, all the headers of the methods, declare, declare all the public variables, and uh, uh, maybe it's the, it's the class that defines the, function, the functionality of your application, because you define the methods and the variables. But I have got an example of that. Then the implementation file, with the dot .m extension, uh, is where you implement all the methods. Because in the, like I said before, in the other file, write the header of the method. Then the implementation file is write what the, your method does. Uh, this is a uh, uh, really simple example. This is a, a class that defines a spaceship, but I think that it writes the code of the method. But I got uh, other examples that I can. Okay, so let's talk about the foundation framework. That is the really basic library that you need to write the uh, objectives, objectives in the iOS code. All the libraries that uh, you will use are in, the, in this foundation framework. Uh, so here you in the foundation framework, you will find all the variable types like the other languages. For example, NS object, that is like an uh, object for Java, for example. Then you have uh, NS string for strings that initialize with uh, the syntax, while the actor and then the string to initialize a string with a static uh, text. Also, another important thing is that uh, if you define a NS string, uh, you, you will not you will be not able to change the, the value of the string. To change the value of, this, of the string, you have to use a NS mutable string. It is uh, like that for every type. If you, for example, if you define an integer by using the NS integer type, you are not able to change the value of the va this value. To change the value of the NS, NS integer, you have to use a NS, NS mutable integer variable type. This is the example if the of the S and that's what the string has the is mutable so you can change it this value. Uh, another example is NS number that you can use to uh, basically instantiate uh, numbers with uh, everything you want. Uh, every value. Then uh, another example is an NS array that you you can use it's a it's a array like all the other languages basically. It has all uh, the different methods, for example the count of the number of the elements of an array. Uh, so I prepared the uh, I cannot talk uh, so much about the objective system prepared some uh, some example of uh, an iOS application. Just to understand what's going on inside the iOS application. Because there's not uh, enough time to talk about objective C itself. When you first create an iOS project, this is what you see on the first screen. Uh, you've got, uh, if you select the project, uh, you will see the screen that uh, shows you all the properties of your, of your uh, iOS application. For example, you've got the support orientations, the 
for the images that you got provided for the application, and uh, all the other properties that you may have for the application. Uh, the most important thing is the storyboard that uh, I talk about later. And uh, beside the build phases, uh, I'm going to check uh, link library with the uh, lib libraries. If you use uh, more uh, libraries than uh, these ones, that are the, the default for your application, you want to add the library by clicking this button, you've got to select the library that you want to use and add it here. These uh, are all the libraries provided by Apple. You can also use a uh, custom library. So another uh, important thing of an iOS project is the storyboard. A storyboard is basically a file where uh, uh, you can hold uh, all the everything that is all the UI of your application. Because if you here yeah, we got only one screen. Huh? But if you add more screens, they are uh, showed in, uh, in, the, in this file. So basically, if you got, we got a more complex application, all the views and uh, all the screens of our application will be shown here. Well, everything is in, in one file. But uh, basically, this is for defining uh, uh, your application UI by by dragging and dropping uh, your uh, the components of the UI. If you define your UI by by code, you probably won't use the, uh, this approach. You will basically have to drag the, the view the views that you use and then define by code uh, your UI. Not uh, so you've got the two options. Define your UI by dragging and dropping the objects, like this, or just dragging the a view controller that is basically a screen of your application, like uh, an activity for Android. This uh, each of these views is like an activity in Android, because every view controller defines defines a screen of your application. You can drag and drop the objects, or you, you, can, you can define the components inside the source code of this new controller. Then, when we uh, create a project, we got a source of a new controller, which is a header for the implementation file. This is created by its code when you create a project. So, this is basically uh, the class for the uh, for the controller that we we have just we have just seen. Because if you if we open the, the storyboard and we look into it, into its options, we will see that uh, we will see the, the name of the class that controls this controller. That uh, this class is shown here. So let's uh, check the code of this class. It's like a, it's a, uh, like I said before, with the header implementation file. Uh, this is slightly different because the last example was Objective C. This is an uh, uh, also Objective C class, but to control an uh, edge controller. So instead of another class, uh, the super class is I I I I controller. Because what I forgot to describe is that I want to control it for our user interface. Then we got uh, a property and a method. So, to better understand. Okay. This property basically is a UI button that describes uh, this, this button. If you hover the mouse of the, of the property, it's code uh, we show you the, uh, the, the connection of the property to the, the button. If you got more buttons, if you go over the, the properties, it will show you the connect the, the relative uh, UI component that the property is connected to. Then, uh, 
we got a, a, a BP action that basically is a, an action that we, we go to do when we press the button. So if you hover on it, like the property, it shows you which uh, components, which components is related to the, this method. Okay. Then, if we take a look at uh, the implementation file, uh, we got the method that is executed when uh, the, the, the skin is, show, is shown uh, in the start application is the beauty in the load method. Everything that is put inside is executed, is ex executed when the, the view is presented to the user. So you've got, so if you, for example, you've got to initialize some variables or uh, something else and got to put the code, the code inside this method. That this is the first action that is executed at the start uh, when the view is presented to you. Then we got the uh, other important method, <laughs> this one, that, is, that uh, is the implementation of the method that we declared before in the header file. This is the method that is connected to the button that we defined uh, before in the UI implementation. Basically, does is to declare three integer variables with a random uh, value from 0 to 155. We use these three variables to randomize the color because we, we, we declare uh, a color and we initialize it with these uh, random variables. So then the other extraction is to take this view and uh, set the background color to the color that we defined before. So we basically randomize the background color of our view. Okay? Any questions? Mm -hmm. uh, so I can run the application. Mm -hmm. Here we can see that uh, each time I press the button, the three variables that declare the RG and B color are randomized, and it changes the background color of the application. This is a real basic example. Basic then I've got another slightly more complex example to show you. And, uh, Here, like uh, the other application, we got our UI inside the storyboard. Here, I define the text area to write some text and two buttons. And I'll show you the actions of this button. So, basically, we got to declare a property for each of the, UI com of the components of our UI application. Uh, I can show you an example. If you, let's, uh, let's say you want to add an UI button to, to this uh, interface. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to drag a, a button, uh, write some text inside it, for example. Then you go to let uh, the the controller know that you got that you uh, declare this button. Uh, this is really simple because all you have to do is to uh, keep the control button pressed and uh, drag the from the button inside of the, of the header file. We got to write the name of the button. 
and then you've got the, the property created for your button. Uh, an important thing is, is to these two things that uh, uh, tells uh, to the compiler some information about this variable. Basically, strong means that uh, the variable that exists till the, the, the view is active. So, uh, this variable will not disappear until this screen will not be destroyed. So, it will not be, will not, uh, be used anymore. And the non atomic tells the compiler that this variable will be thread safe. So other threads that will be active on our application will not be able to access the Bible because the non-atomic test that the Bible will be thread safe. Uh, then maybe we want to define an action for our button to do this interesting for this property. We want to just to click the top of the button pressed, drag another time, and inside instead of an outlet. Uh, we got to choose an action because we want to define an action for our button. Uh, so, we got just to write the name of the method for the action. And each folder creates the header uh, <coughs> of this, the method of the button. Then, if we switch to the implementation file, you will see that uh, this code has created the method for us. So we can write uh, the code of, of, the, of this method and uh, uh, the implementation of the method. And uh, let the button do something that we want. But uh, a more important thing is the, the rest of the code of the exa this example. Basically, we've got uh, the two buttons that uh, I showed you before do uh, these two actions. The, uh, the clear button simply clears the text inside of the text tile on the top of the application. This is just uh, take the text tile that is declared, declared as a fixed text with text and set the text to uh, uh, an empty string. Uh, one thing that I forgot is the, the synthesize uh, uh, declaration. You've got to synthesize all the variables that you declare. Basically, what the synthesize uh, does is to create uh, a set and a method method to set and get method for the variable that you don't see inside the code. This uh, helps uh, the application to be uh, more thread safe. Because just by synthesizing a variable, you assure that uh, this variable is thread safe. Uh, to synthesize a variable, you've got just to write the name of the variable and put it uh, equals to the, the same name with, the, with an underscore. This is a code convention by Apple. The strongly suggested to write the uh, when you synthesize a variable, you write it with an underscore at the start of the page. You can uh, also customize the, the set and get the method that uh, synthesizes it for you. I said before you don't see this method, but you can override that. For example, I created a simple use for single and I synthesized it. Myself. But uh, I made uh, a customization for the set method. So when uh, with, uh, and this, with this view will become active set application, the, uh, the, the application will not use a, a, get a, met, a set method generated automatically, but will use this set method for the variable because I override override it. Uh, what is uh, method uh, basically does is to instantiate uh, this variable instead of with a, an empty value that is uh, what the synthesis basically does with a, a static value that I uh, put here. So when the application will, uh, will be active, uh, uh, this variable will happen 
this this value because I I initialize it with the statistical. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, tweet button that this was the first button they write. Uh, this button uses the social framework. This is a, a framework provided by Apple that lets you do basic uh, operations with the social network. This is uh, Apple implemented at Twitter and Facebook. Uh, like uh, in this example with uh, a small number of uh, lines of code, you can uh, open a, a box and tweet uh, some text from your application without uh, calling the web services for Twitter or everything else. Because Twitter is implementing the side of the system with uh, the social framework. Uh, so, we can use, we, use, uh, we got an if that uh, tells us if uh, the, the, the phone is in the current status can connect to Twitter. Because if uh, uh, Twitter is a, an, an available service inside the application, we, do, we will pub actually publish the message. Uh, in negative case, uh, we'll we show you, we we'll show the user an view by telling him you're not connected to it, or you can send a tweet right now. Uh, so let's take the fourth section of this code. We use a, an SL, SL Compose View Controller that is basically provided by the social framework. It's a small dialog that uh, lets you tweet a message. So we initialize uh, it for the service uh, Twitter. We initialize uh, a, a string with uh, the text that we take from the text area. So this is the name of the value word that identifies the, the text area. And this is text because we want to get the text inside of the text area. Then, uh, this. we set the The, the text of the tweet uh, we control it through the text that we take from the user. And then we present to the user the, the view to tweet the text that we do. But I show you show you an example so you can understand. Basically this is a different style. You can you can write the text. We would write the text instead of the, the text area. So press the tweet button, and with the, uh, this instruction, you are basically at this step. Because we took the text instead of the text area with the, this, is, this, is, this instruction. Then, with this uh, instruction, we set the text inside of the, 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 this view with the text instead of the text area. Then, with this instruction, we present to the user the new controller. Then you can simply so by input that uh, helps you by sending messages. This is available for Twitter, but also for Facebook. With the basically the same instruction, you can also publish posts on Facebook. This is uh, like you see here for both social networks. How do you add the library? Uh, okay, I'll show you. To add the social framework or any other libraries, just select uh, the project, go inside of the interfaces, and inside the, comp the link libraries. Then uh, press the plus button, select the library you want, and add it to the project. Then it becomes available inside the project. You don't have namespacing? Sorry? There's no namespacing? They put uh, some interesting uh, tutorials from basic to the last It's just an example, but there are many blocks on the This is just the uh, most uh, very good. Uh, if you want to take a, a deeper look on the source code of this example, uh, the, this is a little more meetup. 
this is the same folder that I bought uh, before. Uh, but, uh, if you want some contacts, uh, you are. Then uh, basically, 